I really have been enjoying sinking my teeth into issue 15 of the Plascon Spaces magazine, filled with tons of inspiration for summer and also for the festive season. And one article that really jumped out to me, oh dear. <laughs> and result, what a cute article, what a cute DIY project. Um, this looks like a lot of fun and it looks like you are ready to take me through it uh -huh. step by step. Welcome I back. Am. Thanks, Graham. Well, the holidays are a great time. We sometimes have time on our hands. So we hope one of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and if you do have some time available, then start to get creative. It's a great, fun way to include the family and also to make a gift. So there's lots yeah. you can do by being creative. Also individualize your Christmas table exactly. so that people feel like you've gone that extra mile when you have yeah. them over. That's brilliant. Yeah. So we're going to make ourselves some awesome looking placemats and coasters this morning. Yeah. First of all, take me through what we're going to need for our little DIY okay. project. Well, you get these super wood placemats and coasters from your closest craft shop and they sell lots of items. So it does doesn't have to be this obviously can be anything and for that we're going to need some paint we're going to use double valve today and then also sponge rollers are brilliant for giving a really nice smooth finish Mean so we've got finish, some yeah. um, sponge rollers and you can get them in different sizes depending on what you're painting <laughs> now for our stencil what we need is we need a photocopy of the design and you can go to a photocopy shop and have it made to the size that you want. They'll just okay, blow it cool. up, have so it made to the size nice cute little picture, you yeah. want. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to trace this design onto a piece of acetate or transparency paper. So we, we need for that, we need a fine liner. We're okay. going to trace it out. And then we need a cutting knife. And absolutely important is a cutting board. Your, yeah, um, you want a permanent your table. fixture in the, exactly. in the dining room. I love that. And then uh, also to do the stencil, just a normal little thin brush. You don't have to get a special stencil brush. Okay. A normal brush. And we're going to stipple using that. And then to finish it all off, we're going to seal it with some Plascon glaze coat. Okay, and fantastic. that's it. So it's not really a lot of stuff you need. All right, before we dive in, yeah, I think probably a little bit of newspaper. If I'm going to be doing the painting, maybe a bit of okay. newspaper is called on. <laughs> Keep our studio nice and clean. Um, then um, I like the fact that we're using a very on-trend colour yes. as well. Um, and very seems, Christmassy too. Uh, I love <laughs> it. Um, so We're going to use the double velvet. And, that's and you can do it. So let's just pour some in there. Okay, there we go. Double velvet's got a lovely sheen to it. So. Is that enough? It should yes, be, yeah. that should be plenty. Great. And then, do you want All to come right. out here? Let me give it a bash. Yeah. Okay. Easy uh, peasy. Give it a nice, yeah, load it nicely. Backwards and forwards, you can go up here too. Oh, there we go. Nice. One easy. of these palettes, see, I've already got paint on myself. Okay. okay. And then give it a go, up and down. Perfect. You can actually give a little bit of pressure and then it really comes out oh, nicely. Wow, and we're going right. to give two coats of double velvet. Okay, so okay. we've got our first coat. So we've so got our first coat, then we'd let, let that dry and we'd give it another coat. But as they do in the movies, we have one already prepared. So Fantastic. we'll get that let out. Let me move this out of the way for you. And you can pop our next down there. Perfect. Okay, and we've pre-prepared our stencil as well. So we just pop our stencil on there. And then we're going to use our white double velvet paint. Okay. And we don't even have to pour it in there. All you do is you dab your brush, but what's very important here, we're going to need our newspaper. Right, let me get you a second slice there. There we go. Okay. And the most important thing with stenciling is not to overload your brush. With, right. So I'm going to give you a demo first. So we're going to dip our paintbrush in and you dab it off. First, okay, get the, the new, So you get off. all that yeah. excess it off because if you have too much paint, it's going to seep under the stencil. And I'll do the baby one, this and then you just sort of start in the stencil in, in the middle, uh, and this okay, is called brilliant. stippling. And you just sort of and this is tap a great it technique like to remember when you when you're well, doing development on your house. Yeah. yeah. So work away from <laughs> work away from the edge of the stencil. Don't work under it. So you just do that. Oh, very cool. Okay. And that's I give it. it a bash? Yeah. So okay. the mo most important thing, do All not... All right, can you lift it up there just to show yeah. us the edges Let's there? Have a look. Reveal our we'll have baby a moose. Reveal. <laughs> our baby dear. Yeah, oh dear, baby. look at that. Okay. Unbelievable. Okay, well, take us to the finished product here. Um, I'll give it a bash. Yeah, come on, you've got to give it a bash. Um, we're just going to take so a little dab, huh? Hey? A little dab and then really get all the excess paint off on a piece of newspaper. How's that looking? Even more. Okay. Cool. And then start in the body because that's away from the 
away from the edge. Stippling, you stippling. say. That's stippling, that's called stippling. It feels like stippling. Okay, well, I continue yeah. to stipple. You guys can see how we got to this part of the process. A couple of things that you might want to write down right now. Um, check out a bit of a recap. Nice. To create these festive table accessories, start by tracing the image of a reindeer onto an acetate sheet with a black marker. Then carefully cut out the stencil. Using a sponge roller, paint the placemats with two coats of Plascon Passion Red and allow to dry between coats. Next, place your stencil on the mat and stipple the image onto the surface using the white paint. So there's our little oh. stencil. And you can make it whiter if you want, but I kind of like the snowy feel yeah. that it has like that. And all we have to do now is add the little eye. So we take just a fine artist brush, uh -huh. just dab it in the red paint again. Bring our little reindeer to life. And then we're just going to give him a little eye. And, oh, and that well. is beautiful. That is really, really cute and a great way to inspire. Um, and obviously we go through the same steps when creating our little coaster Exactly. As well. Same steps for your coaster. And then just to finalize it and protect it, I would recommend giving it a, um, a glaze coat finished in a matte or gloss. It's up to you. And that's it. And as then, easy as anything. And then they'll last until next Christmas as well. Absolutely. Fantastic. That is a Christmas high five. <laughs> well, that's a great way to get the family involved, get creative, go and get your hands and your fingers dirty, but also an awesome way of making your guests feel very special. Put in a little extra effort when you're decorating ahead of this festive season. This really is cool. I'm actually really proud of our efforts here. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Plascon Double Velvet, the washable and stain resistant paint, now with a 15 year quality guarantee. Plascon, paint with imagination.